three hours, 180 minutes until we all say our last goodbyes. The world's got to end and no one knew a damn thing about it. People just found out in the newspapers. And suddenly there was chaos. First people panicked, then they began writing, as if stealing that 50 inch LED TV was going to save you. Fools. Only a week has passed. The world was looted and pillaged for every resource it could spare. It took a few days before people finally realised that it would be of no use. That no matter how many litres of water they stockpiled or tins of condensed food they gathered, we would all still die. For once, being homeless seemed like much less of a burden. Now that is a sad, sad sight. I knew that there were less and less children playing outside, but to see it so empty on a day like this is just depressing. I suppose everyone's with family today, sitting around pretending to be happy in each other's company, just because they're all going to be burnt to a crisp in 115 minutes. Now that just doesn't make sense. Why would you kill yourself when you know you're going to die anyway? Life couldn't have been that bad. You had to end it all now. Looking at him, he must have someone who wanted to say goodbye to him before the end. It just... It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Now this was always one of my favourite spots. The busy city seemed to be encapsulated by this one place. The business quarters were up one street, the creative quarters down another, and the high street just up that hill. It was the central point for everything, and the easiest place to find in town. Well, I suppose this is it. Ground zero. The end of it all. They may have never paid that much attention, but I'm going to miss living. Doesn't seem that way, I know. But I liked people.